guys, today we're going to be starting a new course on HTML. So, what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's used for web, web pages, such as this. Yeah, you can even put in background, you can put the title of the web page, and like this. So, for now, I... For now, let's just build through the files. So first of all, you might need you you will need a text editor that supports HTML. So I like to use VS Code. Yeah. Okay. So and yeah. So I like to use VS Code. You may use it if you want. Okay. So so you have to create a new file. And now, let's save it as a HTML file. My, and remember, the way to save it is my first HTML page. You can either actually though put the plain text and put in the HTML, or you may actually though just put it to all files and then put the title that htm or html so I'll just put it as a html file my first html web page okay so today we're going to be starting on some html Okay, so now that we save the file as a HTML page, well, let's start coding. So first of all, there are some stuff you have to understand. The syntax of HTML includes something called tags. I mean, not that thing. I mean, tags usually have the name of the tag around these arrows. And then to end that tag, you have to put this before the name of the tag and like end. I mean, this isn't really an existing tag, okay? Okay, guys, so, so what are the main tags in HTML that you got to know of? First, doc. Okay, so right now we're going to be talking about HTML5. And for HTML5, we got to do it like this. This, in HTML5, we put in, in any other HTML other than HTML5, we just put in doc toe type for the first tag. But in HTML5, we also put in HTML. Okay. Yeah. But, and remember, I got to put this explanation mark. Okay, and after that, you put in the HTML tag. Okay, so first of all, what does this doctor type, this doctor type do? <clears throat> Whether it's with the HTML or no. The doctor type helps the browser to recognize that it's HTML. And then you put this HTML tag to type in your code. And remember, the way to end the tag is like this. Wait, in VS Code, you can have a shortcut. HTML. Yeah, and then you can put in this bunch of other lines. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> the next important tag is called the head tag. The head tags help put in information about the web page. Yeah. It helps put in information about the web page. Yeah? And then you put in blah, blah, blah here. Now, the next important one is the body tag. The body tag lets you, like, it's like the body of the web page. It helps, it helps you, like, put in whatever, like, stuff into the web page. Like, let's say you... You can put in these letters in the body only. Okay. So, first of all, let's discuss about the head. The first important 
tag in the head is called the the title tag. Now, what does the title tag do? Okay. Now, if you just did this, my first HTML web page, it'll come out. It'll actually the 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 name of the web page will be the same as the file name. And to change that to a name you really want, but the same file name, you got to use this title tag. Okay. Oh, and don't worry about this. Okay. So, what do we want the title of this page to be? HTML what? Let's just put in HTML web page because we want it to be different than the file name. First HTML, first HTML web page. TRL save, and now its name will be changed to first HTML web page. And don't worry about this, okay? Oh yeah, now see that now it's different. Okay, now. Oh, and you might also put in some CSS, but that's a topic for a different one. But I'm just telling you how to put in CSS anyway, because there is a way. Because I'll be talking about CSS way later. The, to put in some CSS, all you got to do is just do this. See that this is how you put in CSS. And blah, blah, blah information. Yeah. So these, so the style tags help you put in CSS. Now, let's go on to the body. The body tags helps you put in information. Like, let's say, blah, blah, blah. Secure will say. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, that would work in other ways. But now we can also use in line breaks and so much. D, D, D. Okay. Now, enough doodling here. Okay, so there's enough doodling now. Now let's talk about how to put in line breaks. <clears throat> okay, so way to put in a line break is just type in your whatever you want to put in. Wait, first of all, how can you put a title? A title in the body of it. You you put in H1. H2 would be fine too. But I just like H1, it's the best. H1. Okay, H1. Now let's type type in the title. My first, oopsie. First, HTML web page. Okay, save. And now it'll show up my first HTML web page. Okay. Now let's add in the information. Blah 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 blah. Let's just say this is is my first HTML web page. Yeah. It's my first HTML web page. <clears throat> you may all okay. So now this is my first HTML web page. Let's save this. Now just now. What if you wanted to add a new line? Because even if you add a new line and you press on something, it's still on the same line. Now this is where line breaks come in. We can just use this tag called br and use and and put in the blah 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 that is on a different line. Save and blah blah blah. Okay, but of course this is still on the first line. And now even this is on a different line, but that but the other thing is still now. 
Now, there's a way easier way than to just use line breaks, though. Because, you know, you have to keep on adding the break tag. Now, instead, you can add you can add the P tag. The P stands for paragraph. You can just click in blah, blah, blah. And lock up. I mean, it might be a little bit. And just one more, secure, save. Oopsie. Looks like something went wrong. Oh yeah, oh, I, suddenly, I, I forgot to end the tag. Weak, not progress. Some sort of tag. Oh, yeah. And you can keep on adding. Yeah, but of course it still works the same. Except, CTR will save. Oopsie, just one more. Except something's wrong. Anyway, so the paragraph can like be useful sometimes because it helps in IDs and so much stuff. Okay, so. That is the basics of HTML. So, bye-bye, guys. See you next time.